everyone. Uh, this is my third lesson. I hope that you've already seen my first one and the second one. The first one I told you about tree and the second one I told you about the persons. Uh, the pronunciation was he. He cut the tree is kio kiru. Kio kiru. And the person is hito. The lover was koi bito. Did you remember? So today I bring a uh, Japanese uh, traditional, uh, not traditional, a uh, really common Japanese dishes. Here it is. So what it is used for? This one is special dishes only for the rice. We Japanese eat every three times a uh, meal uh, the rice. And on your left hand, like this, and on your right hand, you're gonna use the chopstick like this way. So this is a really a uh, typical way of eating a uh, Japanese uh, morning, lunch, and dinner. You keep on your left side anytime the rice like this way, and put anything you want in here and eat together. This is a really uh, you know uh, typical way of eating the rice. So the right hand the chopstick, and the left hand in this. This is, and this is called chawang, 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 and this is called ohashi. Give me chawang, chawang. Ohan jodai, chawang jodai, ohashi. Give me chopstick, ohashi kudasai, ohashi kudasai. So at your restaurant, uh, please give me a chopstick. Excuse me, is uh, sumimasen, sumimasen, ohashi kudasai. Please give me a chopstick, sumimasen, ohashi kudasai. And this one is a special dish for miso soup. Um, especially uh, for miso soup, we put the miso soup on your right side, right side, because the left side is for chawang, so the right side for the miso soup. So when you visit the Japanese last line, you will find it that your your left side is a chawang and the right side is a miso soup. This is a really a typical way to put your dish. If if it chawang is on the right, it's wrong. Your chawang should be on your left. So chawang, miso soup, cup, wang, chawang, wang. Okay, so today, uh, let's start today's lessons. I would like to uh, tell you today about today and tomorrow and yesterday. So let me write. Today. Tomorrow. yesterday today tomorrow and yesterday so how to pronounce kino kyo asta again kino kyo asta did you come yesterday do you come today will you come tomorrow so how to say did you come yesterday? Did you come today? Will you come tomorrow? Did you eat yesterday? Do you eat today? Will you eat tomorrow? 昨日食べた? 今日食べる? 明日食べる? Then you can notice that maybe you can tell what um, these three stand for. And today I'd like to focus in on the letter of this one. Um, this one is standing for the day. Day. Especially one day.
Would you like to see more? Okay, like this way. And why this is um, this letter stands for day is maybe um, this letter is made by the shape of the sun. Sun change like this way. And to make gradually what it have been changed from the sun to this shape. So this uh, not only stands for the day, but also this stands for the sun. The pronunciation is he or nichi. He nichi. And sun rise up in the morning and set in the night. And this is a 24 hours. So this is why this letter is stand for the day. So repeat after me. Kino kyo asta. Kino kyo asta. Where did you go today? Uh, where will will you go today? Kyo wa doko iku? Kyo doko iku? Where will go tomorrow? Kyo asta doko iku? Asta doko iku? So let me round write down the pronunciations. Kino kyo asta. The repeat is important. Kino yesterday. Kino yesterday. Kino Yesterday I went to school. Kino Yesterday I went to school. Kino tomodachi to atta. Yesterday I met with friends. Kino tomodachi to atta. Yesterday I went I met with my friend. Kino yofuku katta. Yesterday I bought the clothes. Kino yofuku katta. Yesterday I bought the clothes. Kyo. Kyo kaisha e itta. Today I go my office. Kyo kaisha e itta. Today I go my office. Kyo. Gohan o tabeta. Today I ate a meal. Today I ate a meal. Kyo. Tomodachi ni au. Today I'm gonna meet my friends. Today I'm gonna meet my friend. Kyo tomodachi ni au. Kyo tomodachi ni au. Today I'm gonna meet my friend. The last one is the asta. Asta? Um, asta kuru? Will you come tomorrow? Asta kuru? Will you come tomorrow? Asta au? Will we will we meet tomorrow? Asta au? Will we meet tomorrow? So today uh, the lessons is almost end up. I would like you to understand that all these letters, including this kanjis, and this kanji is made from the shape of the sun, and the sun is turn around in a one day, a twenty four hours. So especially any time if you find this letter, this letter is standing one day. This is a really important thing. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed today's lessons and I hope that you will continue to learn Japanese and also the Japanese cultures. And hopefully in the very near future uh, you're gonna buy these things if you really like Japan. So see you. Bye.